What's up YouTube, War Eagle here, bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 commentary, and this time I'm using the L18, and I just want to talk to you guys about sniper rifles and and how I like to use them. I, I like to run around with them and just quick scope, and just take people's faces off with them, but I just can't ever stay alive whenever I use them. And this gameplay is by no means a good gameplay, so don't think this is a good one. And if you don't, if you if you're just here for the gameplay, then just click away now, cause I'm only gonna get like tw I'm gonna go 26 and 11 with this thing, so it's not gonna be amazing. And I don't even know why I'm uploading it because, cause uh, I, I feel like I died a whole lot in this gameplay, but I don't think I did die that much when you look at the stats, which is uh kind of unfortunate. I mean, really fortunate, I guess. But I don't know. I don't know. It's just not like a 50 and 0 or something, whatever you're expecting. And it's definitely not a Moab, so, yeah. And anyways, but I like to use the sniper rifles, and as in like, uh, I like to just kind of sit back a little bit, and I like to run up to them sometimes, if, if that makes sense to you. Like, like uh, if I know where they're spawning, I'll just sit back and snipe their spawn. But if I don't know where they're spawning, and I'm trying to get to a good area, of course I'm going to rush up into their spawn and, and just kind of take their face off. I love doing that, that, that bullshit. Like quick scoping. I used to be really good at quick scoping. And in Monfer 2, Black Ops, well, not so much Black Ops, because you couldn't quick scope in Black Ops. I used to be good at hard scoping in Black Ops. <laughs> just like everyone else who played that game, because that's all you could do is it's a hard scope. But in Monfer 2, I used to be pretty good at quick scoping. And in Black Ops, I was decent at, at the hard at the hard quick scope. I don't even know what you'd call that. It was freaking. Uh, it's might as well call it hard scoping because it's it's just so broken in that game. But um, and this game, I this is uh, I used to be really good at quick scoping in this game and sniping in general. But I could never just get on a really good tear and uh, just tear it up. But and I've actually kind of uh, gone rusty at quick scoping. I've just I don't know. I've been feeling I haven't been feeling it, man. Just haven't been feeling like quick scoping in a long, long time. And it used to be the only thing that drew me to this game is just the sniping because I was just so bored of everything in in this game. And so I took a break. I just quick scoped a little bit here and there. And I, I did fine. I, I went like 30 and 10 or something like that, like pretty much every game. So pulling like a, a 3 KD ratio every game, decent score. And after that, I, just, I stopped doing it and I just took a break from Call of Duty in general. Then I came back. I didn't... I couldn't, I didn't like sniping anymore, so I just stopped completely, and I just used shotguns like I've always been doing, I've loved shotguns forever, and I just tear it up with shotguns, I actually do better with shotguns than I do with most, most like, ACRs or FAMASs, whatever, most overpowered guns, I don't really do well with overpowered guns, and um, I do just about the same with every gun I use, except shotguns, well, shotguns are special for some reason, I just tear it up whenever I use a shotgun. Because if you didn't know in Black Ops, I actually have 6,000 kills with the Olympia. Like 3,000 with the Stakeout. Um, the, I have like 2,000 with the Spaz 12. And they're all my top three guns, like pretty much. They're all in my top like top 10. The Stakeout and the Olympia are the top two. I don't know about the Spaz 12. I'm not sure which what it is. I think it's like the fifth or something. But I just loved those guns in Black Ops and I don't know why I could just do so well with them because everyone else I, I knew could not use them for like a flip and anyone on YouTube would just struggle with it unless they had like a rare like really good gameplay but I just do consistently good and I just use them pretty much exclusively so I got really good with that and then in this game I just found the shotguns a little bit too easy so I just I moved up to like uh, more uh, submachine guns and assault rifles because they're not as good as the shotguns in my opinion because the shotguns at least in my hands, they're they're really good because I know how to navigate the map. I use the MP9 at long range because it's basically an assault rifle, and I use the shotguns at close range. And if I run sleight of hand, I can switch quickly and I can aim down quickly, aim down sights quickly if I use uh, quick draw. And Sit Right Pro allows me to sound whore anyone near me, so I'm pretty much a freaking beast because I can hear anyone around me, aim down sights quickly, the the aim the aim better. And to tighten my spread, and to and and I can switch quickly to assault to any gun I have to use. 
and I can reload quickly, so. Yeah, so that's basically the perfect class you want right there. And, yeah, and, and just, just, I don't think steady aim's overpowered with the, with the, uh, the sniper rifles, because it does take a lot of skill, don't get me wrong, to snipe. But if I just sit back with a Barrett, I'm sure I could get a mob. If I just sit back in my spawn like I've seen people do, or on top of that little, uh, where everybody likes to go up there by the, the air conditioning units and stuff like that, and that was in front of me a second ago, where everyone likes to camp on this map. You know the spot. I don't know what it's called. You you know they like to camp on top of that building. And if I went up there and I just sat with a silenced sniper rifle, I'm sure I could get a Moab like just like that easily. Like quicker than you could snap, I'm sure I could get a Moab. Especially if I'm just like sitting there with a, a silenced Dragonov or a silenced uh, Arsas because I could just spray it. Uh, it's not very hard. And if I'm, if I'm playing Domination especially because... I have a lot longer gameplay, I mean game, and they'll run towards C or B and I can just tear them up. And it's just overpowers the shit, and I don't think they should nerf that, but uh, I'm going to try to get back in the snipe and I don't, I don't see myself getting too good. And there's the random stick, I get so many of those random sticks. I know it's not just me, where you just throw a random stick, you don't expect to kill anyone, but you just get a random stick. It's just, just really random, and I get two hit markers on the sniper. I can't see him kill his bitch ass, and it's just so freaking annoying. See, there's one hit marker back there. I'm about to hit him again. I guess he healed enough to survive too. I don't know. I, I didn't manage to hit him there, but I took a guy's face off there in the background. So that's good. But anyways, the gameplay is wrapped up here. So I'm gonna leave it to the settle. And comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.